Hello everybody! Welcome to a new series of Factorio. Uh, what I wanted to do here was play through the seed, the map exchange string, if you will, for uh, August from r slash Factorio. It's a the subreddit for this game where there's a lot of really cool creations and things, but they have a community seed where everyone plays through it and does their thing. I am going to be doing peaceful mode because this game I play for more for the ma like base management and uh, designing more than trying to kill monsters and also I have games where I can die and have to start over <laughs> well because in this one since it's auto saves so frequently if you don't then make manual saves frequently enough you can get to a point where you're being invaded by super strong aliens and there's nothing you can do to stop it and I'm not good enough to fend against that crap so I'm just going to not deal with it for this. Next time I do a series on this game, I will be doing it against the baddies. But not for right now. For right now, we're just going to chill and uh, do the seed. So this seed should be an island. A couple things about this island is that I've actually, actually already played a short bit of this. So I kind of know what to expect from this world. Uh, I know, for example, that up here is oil. Over here is stone. But the distance is very, very long. And to make landfill, you actually have to use... You have to research landfilling. And that requires science too. So we do have to produce some stuff here. I also know that I don't want to get all my production stuck on this island. And it's better to just get off this island. In the end. But that will not be for quite some time. In the beginning, we have some stuff to do. So, uh, let's cut this tree down. And let's put this guy... Let's see here. This guy can go here. And this guy can go here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna kinda kick start our coal mining. First thing. Uh, so let's do that. Let's make a box. Coal is very important. It fuels freaking everything in the beginning. Let's do that. Uh, if you hit Alt, you can see inside things, so that's good. Uh, next is we're going to need stone. Let's see here. Because, where are you? We need to make a whole bunch of stones so we can make some furnaces. I need furnaces to make burner mining drills. I need those to dig up my iron. So let's do all that. Uh, there's only one little spot of stone on this island, which is the main reason you have to get off the island. Is that once you run out of the stone, if you have all your production here and you don't get off the island and you run out of stone, you kind of get stuck. Because if you actually want to build the rocket launch pad, you need concrete. And that comes from stone. So... If you're really, really fast with all your production stuff, you could do it. But I'm not that good. So I'm not doing that. <laughs> so let's just clunk away at all this. I believe I need... We want to get about 50 to begin with. I think it's 5 per furnace. I need a furnace per burner. But I also need furnaces to actually create things. So we want to get about 50. We'll plow through this as fast as we can. Um, another thing I don't like about this island is that it's covered in trees, so I'll be doing a lot of tree chopping just so I can have production lines actually work. Uh, I'm also going to try to avoid my old method of doing some stuff because I like to, f I tend to fall back into old strategies, but it's very inefficient. I'm not the kind of player in this game where I'm looking for brutal efficiency, but there are things to be said about you know, other people's methods of doing things. I just kind of want to try. I want to see if it's faster. That's all. So we're at 40. Uh, there is quite a... For this small patch of stone, there's quite a bit here. It does take a, quite a while to actually mine it all out. But it's not enough <laughs> for what I need. And... One more. There we go. Cool. Another thing I never really do in this game is uh, really focus on rails a lot. And I'm hoping to get to a point where I actually have a rail station on this island and off this island is like my main base because I do want to kind of like move bases, if that makes sense. All right, so we're out of coal in here. Let's just do that. Uh, we're going to replace... Oh, let's see here. We need iron, so let's chop some iron up. And actually, what we can do is just go ahead and actually replace the box with this thing. Uh, it'll still fill this up with coal, though. Doo -doo -doo. And once we convert this into steel 
plates, or iron plates rather. I keep I always interchange iron and steel because there's other games where that's not two different resources that I play. So, burp, burp. namely Room World, I believe, is what I'm thinking of, which is a great game. Which is why I play this on peaceful, because after playing Room World on you know normal difficulty and losing a five hour <laughs> a five hour colony because beavers come and kill everyone, you know. I need something that kind of is relaxing. Uh, I do stream room, room World. I'll probably record episodes of it, but I'm not sure. Depends. I kind of abandoned my YouTube channel for a while there. It's been like five months since I posted anything, so we'll see. Give another go. All right, start cooking that stuff. Gonna need that to, uh, let's see, hold on. We need another one of these and yet another one. No, we don't. Yeah, we do. We need two, three. Because so we have to make burners. And then we need to make our burner circle jerk coal mining operation. Where you take four burner drills and you just have them human set to peed each other. And they just kind of infinitely regenerate coal for a while. It's not infinite, obviously. Not truly infinite, but... What is infinite, man? Really? Right, got a burner. And burners away. Go right into there. And you. There. And that'll be good for a little bit. It's not going to produce enough for my liking forever, obviously. Uh, but for now, it's fine. What we need to do is still wait for a little more iron. And what I can do to speed this up a little bit is to kind of just... Steal... Some... Of you. Put you there. And I'll actually help by chopping away. I believe the burner drill drills about as fast as the furnace, the stone furnace smelts, if I recall correctly. I'm not entirely sure, but this way we can kind of temporarily double our production on iron. We will automate this eventually, but it's hard to get your first bit of iron in the beginning. I'm sure there's speedrun strategies for it, but I'm dumb, so I don't do that. Uh, let's see, get you here, bang, get you there. So we have another drill. So this will be copper and stone drills. I need a copper furnace. And I need to make, I need a lot more iron so I can make my belts and stuff. Because eventually we do want to get coal belted down over here to, uh, to automate that a little bit. But all actuality, we don't have to do that immediately. Because what we really want to do first is uh, get... Let's get our burners done first, I think. Because we're going to need more coal. So let's just make our circle jerk burners. Because honestly, I need to, the thing I need to belt out of here with coal for the most is for power, electricity. So let's just do this. And uh, we, can, we can hack up one piece of coal... And that's enough to make this thing kick into gear. And that's good to go. Uh, let's take you. And let's hack up some more iron while we're here. I believe we still have enough stone to do what we need to do. Yeah, we have plenty. We need two more burners and at least one more furnace. For now. Because we need to get caught. We need copper for... What do we need copper for right away? I think electric arms. Oh geez, we broke our pickaxe. Poor guy. Uh, yeah, we need to make electric arms. And then we need to wire those up. But first we need to make our boilers. Which is iron, <laughs> obviously. And we're going to need more stone. But let's get our drills. And let's steal some of this dank coal. Let's make another box. Let's head down here. And this is where it gets kind of hairy. It's where I have to keep walking through this dang forest. Until I finally snap and decide to hack it all down. Which will probably not take very long. <laughs> but uh, it's not going to be right now. Alright, so. Half of you. Half of you. And you. And you get a box. Bang. Excellent. Excellent. That's all partially automated. I don't think I'm going to... 
I don't think I'm going to bring coal down here to power these. I think I'm just going to wait until I get electricity to s convert that to electricity. Uh, it seems better. Uh, I already, spoilers, I already recorded the first episode of this before, but I didn't have any sound. So I'm going to just do what I did last time, which is put power over here. <laughs> uh, I might end up, this episode could actually be a lot shorter because of it, but I'm actually going to just keep going for a half hour either way. But by the end of the last episode, it took me a half hour to get my power up. Not all wired in, but just up and uh, almost operational. Let's cut a path through here, because we're going to need to anyway to bring our coal out, you know? And other things are sort of automated while we're waiting. So it's not too bad. And what we can do is then, uh, we should actually create burner arms and arm up the, uh, coal, the, uh, iron operation. And I made a nifty thing last time, and I kind of don't remember what I did, but it was awesome. So let's see if I can do it again, shall we? Uh, we need more coal over there. Cool. Get coal. Uh, get coal. And you're fine. You're actually more than fine. You're good. There we go. And take this down. Let's make some arms. We need arms. We need some belts. So let's see here. What we need... Okay, so what we did was we moved to this. And how, let me think here. This had to pop out onto a belt. Then this goes, fuels this, fuels this, turns, and fuels itself. So I actually need one more arm. So we'll fuel this, fuel this, then fuel that. And then you, you get fuel. Cool. That should be good for now. And last time this arm died for some reason. So actually I'm just going to manually fuel nope, that one. Because I guess it wasn't grabbing. I don't know. It was weird. Anyway, that should be good. So now this iron is fully automated. Uh, it's not getting out of there in a storage. I don't need it to. Not anytime soon, anyway. Uh, let's continue chopping our path through here. Uh, or do we have enough to make? No, we need more iron. So let's wait for that iron to really build up. And uh, finish chopping our path through this stupid forest. It's like the Lost Woods. I think you're going one way, you go another. And... Let's take a detour and make sure that these are actually fueled up. Because we didn't have that much coal for them to begin with. Half you, half you, half you. And you don't need fuel because you're a box. You're a dumb box. Give me that. Give me that. Cool. So now we can make eight of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We need one of these. And we need more iron to actually create that. But that's fine for now. Um, we want to make sure. So, see, I could put... Hold on, let me make sure this is built first. There we go. Uh, I could put this right on the edge. But then I wouldn't be able to fuel my boilers. So I actually have to make sure that there's room. Uh, here. So my boiler goes here. And my water comes... He actually, no, that's not true. Let's go there. Because I need to put an arm there. Ha ha ha. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Cool. And this is where my coal's gonna come in. And I'm gonna do a thing that I see everyone else do but me, which is have your boilers all next to each other and just use an arm to have one belt of coal fuel like as many boilers as you want to put next to each other. Uh, that's gonna come into play more later when I need all that power, but right now I don't. But that's what I'm planning on doing. It's just kind of putting boilers one space away from each other and letting arms flip it over. That's just something that I never really did. Like having a belt feed one building and then having the supply in that one building then feed another building next to it. That's something that I kind of never really wrapped my head around until recently. I still don't really use that in my design for my main factory stuff. But it's a cool concept. I like it. 
almost done getting through this darn woods. Stupid woods. By the time we get through, I'll have enough iron to build my actual steam engines. And maybe enough for belts. That's the plan anyway. That's my that's what I'm hoping for. Can't guarantee that. But generally what I want to do is get science one and two up and running on here. I don't know if I want to have a full-blown lab operation on this island, but I kind of have to because of the way it's set up. So let's get that. Uh we'll have we'll just do belts. I get one of you. And let's just start our belting. Kill the trees. I'm also known for having really snaky and inefficient belts. I'm going to try and not do that so much. I'm going to try and do more of a standard bus kind of thing, but uh, I can't guarantee shit. <laughs> I actually don't even want to make a bus on this island. I'll, I will do it on the mainland. Alright. So that's good. I kind of want to just have this turn now. I don't want to be all... Alright. We'll leave that like that. And I need more iron to make more belts. But we also need iron to make our steam. At least we can make power lines in hand while we're walking. That's like one of the main things I noticed watching speedrunners in this game is always be crafting something in your hand that you're going to need later. And if you do, if you ever watch like the random, not the random seated ones, but the actual like seated runs. Those are especially, especially impressive because they're actually memorizing entire layouts of their bases. But it's what that at that point it's more of a memorization game, not a not necessarily I mean it takes skill to plan the route. Don't get me wrong. It's just At that point you're just trying to ex you know. But that's every speedrun. You're just trying to execute the same thing. There's not really but especially in this game, there's not like backup strats necessarily. <laughs> In this game, it'd be like, oh, I screwed up, so now I have to reset because I didn't finish this in time. It just seems less human. You know? I don't know. I th I'm probably explaining that poorly. Let's go five more. And let's check out down below, shall we? I also want to eventually get, well... Obviously, eventually, but soon get grenade production up because I want to blow this forest away. <laughs> I don't want it here anymore. And uh, the best way to do that is to just, like, make grenades. Grenade production takes freaking forever, though. Like, it takes a long time to make a grenade, but... And you need, like, three grenades to kill a tree. But when you do that, you clear a big back, like, a big spot. Before, I would rush Flamethrower, but now the Flamethrower doesn't actually work that way anymore, which is kind of disappointing. The Flamethrower sets the entire forest on fire, but it doesn't burn down the trees necessarily. Like, you, then you just have all those trees still there, they just don't have leaves on them. <laughs> which is sad. Makes me sad. Alright, what are we missing? We just need a whole crap ton more iron, huh? We'll at least get this first boiler up and going before the end of this video, hopefully. Alright. Uh, we could also do the thing where uh, I help this along, because it's taking a while. The reason I'm not making like a full-blown iron production thing yet is because I don't want it like this. I want like electric miners, and then I'll set up an actual production line over here or something. But my first priority is power. That's kind of like very important. Steel would be nice. These pickaxes are awful. So one of the ideas I had too is to have a uh, a power armor upgrade, which allows you to craft in hand faster. It would just be like robot gloves, robot hands, or like personal welder or something. That'd be nice to have. 
Because there comes part in late game where you're, you're crafting in hand, like, oh man, I needed one more of these things, but, you know, solar panels or something, or it takes, like, 45 seconds to craft one in your hands, and it's ridiculous. I'd sacrifice some inventory in my power armor, just so I could not have to wait that long. <laughs> All right. I think the goal of the next episode, well, next episode will probably be iron, automating iron in general. But a short-term goal is going to be automating, well, it's dumb to say. I want to automate the construction of these belts, but you need to do that anyway to make science too. So I guess what I'm really saying is I need to get to science too, <laughs> which is obvious. All right. Is 18 going to be enough? And is this in the right spot? Yes. Yes, it is. And we need... We need these arms, too. So we got that. Uh, we need to actually reach... Let's see here. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I might cannibalize some of this. Hold on, we'll see. Um, I don't think I have to. Let me grab more of this. More of that. We need eight of these. And we need... I think we can just steal from this for now. That's not a long-term solution. We need to actually set up a real... Because this is slow, inefficient, and it takes coal. And all these, all these first pieces are going to be used to fuel the arms I'm going to use. To fuel the boilers, which will then make the steam. It's just very inefficient. <laughs> So I think my first electric miners are going to be for the coal to power the thing. Kind of an Ouroboros. But that's okay. Um, Just still waiting on steel, I guess. Let's actually run down here and put our arms in. That's why steel production is going to be tip-top priority now. Because we need a lot of it. Uh, do we need to necessarily... Yeah, we do, huh? Hmm. Really, it, the main pain in the butt about this whole thing is powering. Getting power from and to these. Uh, I need to power something for it to even work. So that's a good way to let it prime itself. Because it's not going to run until it's like actually needed. Which is cool. You're not just wasting resources. Uh, let's move here. And here. And there we go. Alright. Let's run all the way here. And if we want, we can just go ahead and build one of these. I don't know if this is... Nope, wrong one. Wrong way that way. Let's look at our power. Yes. Yes. Producing a massive 6.1 kilowatts. It's like nothing. <laughs> but that's okay. We have power. And I think it's okay for me for right now. So the design of this means that we can then put another pump right next to it and another set of boilers right next to that. I'm not going to actually utilize these yet. I just want to build them and have them. Because why not? You know? And that. And then I would put arms in between. And this would then fuel the next set of engines. Uh, ideally, you'd be able to actually just put pipes between the ends of these and then use that pipe to fuel 
a lot of steam engines like kind of uh i don't know how to describe it network it out like kind of spread it out but pipes don't work that way in this game and you can't do that <laughs> if you try that it will actually lower the average temperature of all of your water and it needs to be at 100 degrees for it to actually be efficient and it just doesn't work it's weird i'm sure someone out there knows why like i'm I'm positive someone out there knows why, because people are working on this game, so... <laughs> it's just weird. Um, in the meantime, we're also... Can we also just... Uh, let's build a lab, since we have electricity. Uh, labs require electricity, and since we're there... Do this. Make a little clearing. Since this spot is powered, we're going to pop a lab down, let the electricity power the lab, and then we'll make some science in hand. Just so we can get some, some you know, some basic stuff going. Uh, we're going to actually end up putting it up here. There we go. Uh, so now this will allow us to make... See, landfill requires science too, which sucks. Uh, this will allow us to make an assembling machine and a long-handed inserter. But to do that, we're going to need science. And that takes forever to make in your hand, but that's okay. But uh, I think that's good. I think that's a good start. Uh, everything we did is we started iron, very small iron production. We did the human centipede of coal. We got electricity going. We got our first lab up. And technically our first research started, but not really because their science isn't in the building yet. We have copper not fully automated yet, but it will be because now we have electricity. See, it even stopped because there's so much. And, uh, let's fuel this up. And I think it's pretty good. Let's put a science in our lab and we'll wrap this episode up. Uh, this is the beginning of a new series, so hopefully people enjoy it. If you want to see, you know, if you want it to keep going, try and show your support. Uh, if not, just be silent. <laughs> and it will die quietly. <laughs> Uh, this is like my first series I'm doing in like six months or something, so any support is welcome and very much appreciated because, uh, I don't know, I kind of got, I fell off the YouTube train personally. I just got kind of burnt out on it. Uh, I took up streaming and even then I didn't do, wasn't really doing that that much because I had other crap to take care of in real life, but now I'm a little more free to do whatever, I, you know, to do some things like that and I'm trying to strike a balance between streaming and YouTube. Which uh, works for me, on top of my other stuff. But anyway, let's clear some of these trees out. Uh, yeah, I think that's going to do it for right now. Uh, next time, what we're going to do is build electrically powered, da -da -da, electrically powered mining coal first, then iron, and then we're going to go ahead and hopefully uh, get our iron production up. And we'll start doing it over here. <coughs> Excuse me, man. I have a piece of carrot caught in the back of my throat. And it hurts really bad. Uh, we're going to just uh, start our iron production here. Our copper production will be on the other side of the island, which is kind of awkward. I'm actually kind of mulling over whether or not I just make my iron production down here. And just ship all my coal down. So that way my copper and iron will be right next to each other. Immediately. I don't have to then ship... You know, instead of shipping coal and iron down. I just have to ship coal down. That's probably better. We'll decide when we get there. But anyway, I'm rambling now. So yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.